Good morning, everybody. Happy Halloween. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I didn't upload this video yesterday. Um, I had to close the store. My store closes at 9 o'clock, but we normally don't get out of the building until 9.30, so I do apologize for this late upload. I was really tired last night, and we are currently packing to move out of this townhome. We officially got a house, and we closed on the house on the 9th. Yay! So we're super excited about it, an actual house. I We've We've been like waiting for this for so, waiting for this. Sorry guys, I'm tired. So we have been waiting for this for such a long time. It seems like it's been house after house that has fall through or things didn't work out. But now we actually have the one, and I'm super 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 excited to show you guys this house. Um, I will probably do a video of the house as we're trying to get moved in. Um, show you guys what it's like. We will be taking the downstairs part of the house. Um, it's really cool down there. It's got laminate flooring. It's really actually really nice. We are going to have to make a um, a downstairs bathroom because we currently don't have one up downstairs where we will be. Upstairs has two of them and two and three bedrooms upstairs as well. But that's really exciting anyway. Um, but now let's go ahead and get into this fragrance review. And this is going to be for uh, the last final fragrance that I am going to do for um, October, which is the Signature Halloween by Jesus Del Pozo. So as you can see, this is what the box looks like. So this is the Signature Halloween. This is the one that came out before, you know, Halloween Shot and Halloween Kiss. He's got many other Halloween fragrances as well, um, but this is his signature one. So as you can see, the box is pretty basic. It's really actually pretty. I love it. Um, it doesn't have his name on it. That's the one thing that, that drives me nuts. This is also an Eau de Toilette, so it is a lesser concentration. It has 81% volume um, alcohol, I think, so it's a lesser concentration. None of these Halloween are, um, perfumes are all Eau de Toilettes, if I didn't tell you guys that. Um, I will now show you what the bottle looks like. The bottle is very pretty, very whimsical, very mysterious. I love it. <clears throat> so this is what the bottle, the signature bottle looks like. It's silver top, silver bottom. It still says Halloween. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, just, just a little bit. It still says Halloween, and the fluid is like a lavender purple. Very pretty. Very pretty, very much. Love that. The scent's really pretty, too. The sprayer is extremely nice on that, if you saw it. The sprayer is really nice for this one. I'm going to get into the notes and I'm going to get into something that I think it smells like. I don't currently have in my collection, but it does smell very similar to it. If you guys have that uh, fragrance, you can leave me comments and let me know um, if you think it's similar to one that I will mention later on in the video. Okay, so the fragrance notes for the Halloween, the notes, top notes are pentagreen, violet, banana leaf, and sea notes. The middle notes are tuberose, violet pepper, magnolia, and Lily of the Valley. Base notes are sandalwood, incense, Madagascar vanilla, and myrrh. Here is my card that I'm using for that. So those are the notes that are in this fragrance. And I do think this fragrance is pretty versatile. Um, it has a lot of things that you could use all four seasons. So if you want, this could be a signature, a signature fragrance for someone. I think it would be um, nice to pull off you know, fall, winter, spring, summer, whatever you wanted to do. It's a nice year-round fragrance, in my opinion. Um, okay, so fragrance to wear, or seasons to wear this fragrance, like I said, all four seasons appropriate. It's very nice. Uh, fragrance lasts the hours on my skin. This is about a four-hour laster before you'd have to reapply anything. So it's actually pretty decent. Four hours you get um, on your skin and on your clothes. I did wear it on my skin and my clothes this week to give it a little bit more longevity, but it's four hours longevity for the most part. Um, the fragrance projection is pretty mild. It's not like, it's not a beast mode performer by any means. It is a fragrance that will give you a nice floral, uh, full, floral sweet fragrance. So it is really nice for that, but it's not a beast mode performer. It's not a fragrance that is going to offend anybody. I don't think so. I actually got a couple compliments this week wearing this fragrance. So I don't think it's one of those ones that's going to be, it, that's going to be intrusive to anybody. Um, the best time to wear this fragrance, I think this fragrance is best suited for daytime wear only. It doesn't have the longevity, the steliage, or anything like that to perform during the night. So I think daytime is a perfect time for this fragrance. Um... 
And as far as my conclusion for this fragrance, I am going to give it a... I like the bottle a lot. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for the bottle. The packaging is very pretty, very uh, mysterious, very whimsical. I like that, as all the bottles are. So all the bottles get an 8 as far as the packaging. As far as the, the um, fragrance itself, I am going to be giving it a 6 out of 10 because it is pretty good. Um, it's still an average like fragrance, but it is a really nice one at that, and I do enjoy having this in the collection. So a 6 out of 10 for the um, the perfume itself and a, I think, what did I say, an 8 out of 10 for the packaging. All right. So that concludes my fragrance review for Halloween by Jesus Del Pozo. So if you guys liked that, I really hope you did. Leave me a thumbs up in the um, thing where you leave your thumbs up. Feel free to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love my new subscribers. I know my subscriber count is going up a little bit more, but please guys, subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. Um, you don't have to watch it continuously. If I make a video that you don't like, you would just click out of it. But it doesn't hurt to hit that subscribe button. It actually helps my channel out quite a bit so I can do more um, things. Um, anyway, now for me, a fragrance that I've smelled once before, I don't currently own it in my collection. But I think it smells pretty similar. It's um, Izzy Miyake. Um, Izzy Miyake, just the regular one. Here, I have a knockoff of it. I'll show it to you. They smell pretty similar. Um, okay. It's uh, Izzy Miyake Ludi Izzy. That's what I think that this smells pretty similar to. It may be completely different, but if you guys have the um, Luda, Luda Izzy in your collection or you have the Halloween in your collection or you know of a place where you could actually maybe sample Halloween and give me an idea if they smell similar to you or not, I do think that they smell rather similar. This is my um, knockoff to the Uda, um, to the Uda Izzy by Izzy Miyake. So this is my knockoff for it. Um, I get quite a few similarities out of this fragrance as the Halloween. Mm -hmm. This one is a lot more floral. Um, while this one is floral and sweet, this one is more floral and I would think like musky. But they're pretty similar and... Um, scent I like them both so I'm really happy to have them in the collection um but let me know your guys' thoughts on that for me okay all right guys again I apologize for this video being a day late like I said I had to close the store last night and I didn't feel like filming but that is the, the conclusion for the Halloween fragrance review but now you know what's next I have a whole buttload of cards in this box and these are back down to fall and um, winter fragrances because now we're going to be getting into um, November now. And November, I want to go back to just fall and, you know, fall and winter fragrances. So I have a lot of cards in here. I'm going to pull out the next card. You know how it goes. The next card I pull out will be the next week's fragrance review. And that will be posted hopefully next Friday, uh, depending on how it's going with our moving truck and everything else like that. Um, I will try and make sure that I put this fragrance out somewhere so it's easy accessible. But again, the video may be a late, maybe a day or two late. I'm going to try and make it so it's not late. So I apologize if it is. Um, but let's go ahead and pick out the next week's review card. So the next card, or the next fragrance we will review in my collection will be on three, two, one. The next card that I have in my hand is going to be the next fragrance that I review on my channel. So it's going to be on Desert Wildflower from Bath and Body Works. That will be the next fragrance that I review in November will be Desert Wildflower. All right, guys. So stay tuned to that video. I hope you are all here when I film it. Um, like I said, I do plan on posting it on Friday. If I don't plan on post, if I don't post it on Friday, I am going to try to post it if I can on Saturday, depending on when my work schedule is if I close probably not but I will be posting it up hopefully on Friday guys all right I love you all and I will see you next week bye guys